Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anne, for that wonderful introduction. Thank you, Helen Drynan, Larry Fish, David Shapiro, my great friends, for taking the time to help make that video. I'm honored to be inducted um, into the Academy of Distinguished Bostonians tonight. Um, on such an auspicious uh, evening, one is, uh, with so many uh, talented uh, leaders in the city gathered in one place, one is reminded of what Mark Twain said about Boston 100 years ago. He noted that in Philadelphia, they ask, who are his parents? In New York, they ask, how much is he worth? And in Boston, they ask, how much does he know? <laughs> More than a century later, knowledge is still the measure of a man in Boston, and now surely the measure of a woman as well. The knowledge economy has fueled our extraordinary growth over the last 100 years and continues to drive our growth today. Technology and biotechnology, financial services, education, healthcare, professional services. It's truly a remarkable story, and to play a role in its unfolding over the past 30 years has been extraordinary for me. We Bostonians understand that learning is lifelong, and from this learning we seek the wisdom to improve our lives and our communities. At Goodwin Proctor, one of our core values is community. Our law firm is committed to each of, each of, each of us giving back, both personally and professionally, to the communities in which we work and live. That this honor tonight is bestowed for significant contri contributions to the greater Boston community couldn't make me more proud. There are many whom I would like to thank, but time is short, so I'm only gonna recognize a few. First, I wanna thank my partners at Goodwin Proctor, both past and present, for their confidence and forbearance. When they asked me to lead Goodwin Proctor 12 years ago, they had no idea of the history they would make or the journey of expansion and change we would travel together. In true Boston fashion, they were pioneers in 1998 when they elected a 42-year-old woman as their chairman and managing partner, the first woman in the country to lead an AmLaw 100 firm. And what was particularly endearing was how surprised they were when the media made such a big deal about the fact that I was a woman. During the next 10 years, the firm grew from 350 lawyers in Boston to over 900 lawyers serving clients from nine locations in the United States and abroad including New York, D.C., San Francisco, Silicon Valley, Los Angeles, San Diego, London, and Hong Kong. Today, we're recognized nationally as a leader in its service to the technology and life sciences, financial services, and real estate capital markets, industries. And building on our rebellious Boston roots, we have become known within the legal industry as a change leader and innovator. I'd also like to acknowledge the Chamber for its fine work, steadfast leadership, and over 100 years of service to our city. And let me also congratulate my co-inductees, Flash and Henry, and thank incoming Chair Bob Gallery, outgoing Chair Gloria Larson, and President Paul Guzzi for their outstanding service to the Chamber and the City of Boston. Finally, I want to recognize and thank my mother, who is here, who turned 88 last month. And <laughs> She continues to be one of my uh, greatest cheerleaders and staunchest critics. <laughs> in the past 10 years, she has turned herself into an expert in the legal industry. <laughs> Whenever she spots another law firm anywhere in the country, making headlines or doing anything of interest, she asks, what are you doing about that? <laughs> I am reminded of the morning I called her and mentioned casually that I was named in Boston's magazine's power issue. Her first question was, what number are you? <laughs> so I answered, and after a brief, brief pause, she said, and you couldn't do better than that? <laughs> and so it never ends. In closing, I have one observation to leave you with. As the first generation child of an Italian immigrant, parent, and grandparents, I hope we don't lose sight in the modern day debate over immigration of the fact that this country was built by immigrants. That is one of our greatest strengths as a country. It has fueled our historic sense of impatience with the status quo and our willingness to change and innovate in every aspect of our lives. Again, thank you for this honor. I'm thrilled and humbled.
thrilled and humbled to be inducted into the Academy and included in the company of so many great people whom I admired as a child growing up in the streets and playgrounds of Somerville. Thank you so much. Thank you.